Mirror Cell by Greg Prucciato. At least I think I pronounced the last name right. I've heard some people may come up with some weird outlandish ones that I don't think are correct. Hell, this sounds more correct than that, but I'm not entirely sure either, so. But regardless, it's good. Put a chat though. I used to say Pusciato. It could be that, too. But Greg from Dillinger, known mostly for his works with Dillinger Escape Plan. He also has some post-punk industrial electronic rock style group known as Synth Wavy of sorts. Known as the Black Queen. Some of that is sort of in here a little bit. A little bit on this project, but and then he's also been known for being a part of a super group called Killer Be Killed with members of Mastodon and Sepultura slash Soulfly. Amongst some other members of other bands, depending on the rotating drummers at this point, that have happened within each era of the band, era, album cycle. Um, but this album, Mirror Cell, is the, a follow-up to Child... to Child Soldier creator of God being his first solo outing uh, this is his first officially under the name instead of that other project name that project was more outlandish than this and then in fact this album is really more of an alternative metal alternative rock sort of grungy record like a very Melvin's out meets basically I when it comes to mind is Soundgarden House of Chains and possibly the Melvins um, at the very least, um, like the early Melvins, at least. So, more though, to where I understand why Jerry Cottrell is supposedly going to be touring with Greg for this album, I think, which is nice. Nice to hear. Also, Reba Myers does a thing, and apparently, there's a dude from like I think Census Fail is involved in this project. Um, but it's mostly Greg that is, it's his show. And you can tell it's his show. It's from his vocals that are on this thing and everything. Oh, so good. Uh, the opening being a very noisy sort of weird intro leading up to what you heard, just heard from Reality Spiral. No More Lives to Go is great. Never Wanted That is pretty good. Uh, they start where the post-punky stuff starts to kind of come in. And Lowered really does bring it, like, to the points where I hear, like, elements that make me think of, like, what Billy Howardell had done with Ashes Divide a little bit at points. We is definitely... I can see why some people feel like it doesn't fit in the record for what's going on sonically. Though it does do enough to at least... And it's not a bad song. It does what I guess it needs to do to just at least bring it away some sense of monotony. But I still understand it being seeming out of place compared to the rest of the album, which is more grungy more grunge in nature and then which is why it was great that I eclipse and then rainbows underground and even to some people say all waves to always to nothing or is too long but I like it for what it is and it's probably the most closest to something of a more Dillinger Dillinger escape plan kind of sound that you're gonna get from this project to me with him just going off even screaming vocals uh, while everything else is more him, more as Mike Patton was essentially fronting, fronting either fronting a band that included members of Alice in Chains and Soundgarden, and maybe the Melvins, which would also not be that surprising given recent recent stuff since Melvins have been on Patton's label IPA. So, but yeah, I've loved all these, and Lower is not a bad. I wanted more out of it, but it's still, it's not a bad thing, thing, Reba, and, like, I've grown to like it, but for what this is, it's, de it's really, 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 really good, which isn't that surprising for, like, Greg at this point, I'm not saying it's on a level that he's done with Killer Be Killed, or his work with Dillinger levels of like master class. I would like it to be, but it's it's done in a way that's not so so up its own butt about nostalgia and it actually feels genuinely good. 
um, the this grungier alt metal y alt rock style that he's bringing of a lot of seventy of a lot of his eighties and nineties alternative influ rock influences. Um, more so the grunge influences, of course. So yeah, hopefully, like to me, um, strong thumbs up to a very light horns up for me. I like this record a lot. I like this a lot. I think it will probably. I feel it will make my honorable mentions at the very least. I get if it doesn't, but if people are still willing to consider this another solid thing that's amongst the many things Greg Pichato has done over the years since Dill since Dillinger and since Dillinger has been disbanded so or defunct or whatever word you'd like to use hiatus all this other stuff broke up blah 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 so yeah what did you guys think of this mirror cell album from Greg Pichato uh, leave a comment below. Let me know uh, what's your favorite thing besides Dillinger. Obviously, what el what is the fa your favorite thing you've heard from involving Greg P project involving Greg Pachato? Um, leave a comment below. Let me know. Uh, would love to talk about it or at least give you a, give you a, some form of a like or something for it. You know, because who who doesn't like Greg Pachato at this point? Uh, Appuciato or it's gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me for a long while. Hell, I wouldn't mind if the man himself corrected me. Hopefully nicely. But then again, knowing him, he'll probably he'll do it his own trolley way. Which is fine. I'll accept it at this point. But anyways, what did you guys think? Leave a comment below, let me know. If you liked this video, rock that like button with the rest if you must. Hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell to get all my other to see all my other videos. Links in the description of my socials. To all my socials and whatnot. And as always, guys, keep it random. Keep it random. Keep it real. Keep it rocking. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, y'all. Which might be some anniversary stuff, so just letting you know, like for a couple albums here and there that I haven't gotten to. Like maybe two or three that are in the pipeline and then some catch-ups are coming up in fact there's an album that came out also this weekend that's really good in the metal in the metal world so that i'd love to talk about as well uh might me talk about it later once i figure stuff out with that but anyways once again take care y'all